OET, a series of educational courses. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, in this lecture, we will discuss hypothesis testing. So, these are some assumptions or steps that we can help us to find the or test an aesthetical hypothesis for parameters mean or variance. So, in then the first step is to state our hypothesis null hypothesis that what we are going to test about the population parameter about the population mean or population standard deviation and the alternate hypothesis that what we are taking against the null hypothesis so the null hypothesis actually is denoted by h0 or h o and alternate hypothesis is denoted by h a and sometimes we can also denote by h1 after so what are these null and alternate hypotheses we will discuss when we will discuss some problems on it so second step is to decide level of significance alpha so that is usually given to us it is already already specified if it is not specified we usually take alpha is equals to 0.05 then using this value of alpha we find out the values of z distribution z alpha z alpha by 2 or sometimes we find the values of t alpha or t alpha by 2 depending upon the distribution or statistic that we are going to discuss and this depends on the size we will see also in the problem on example and then we compute the value of test study so there are normally formula that we used and there will be look like x minus x uh, mean x bar minus mean divided by sigma divided by square root on square root of n and similar formulas are there so we'll also discuss them and then after finding the value of z we compare this value of z that is called value of test statistic with the value obtained using the self significance level and then we decide whether we have to reject null hypothesis or accept null hypothesis and finally we write our conclusion in the words so let us move for the problems to make it clear how we apply the hypothesis testing to test and in hypothesis for the parameter population parameter mean or variance so this is our first problem a certain type of battery for medical devices lasts on the average of three years so here we have given the average three years that is um, our null hypothesis because that is the claim of the manufacturer a certain type of battery for medical device last on the average of three years so that we choose as h naught with a standard deviation so here population status is also known that is 0.5 so sigma is known that is 0.5 assuming that battery life is normally distributed a sample of 100 now we are dealing with the sample because it is mentioned as a sample a sample of 100 so n is equals to 100 such batteries gave a mean of 2.5 now this is your sample mean 2.5 that is x bar the sample mean would you accept or reject the claim of the manufacturer now no news or information about what is what should be the alternative hypothesis or what we take the alternative hypothesis is given here there is no news or no information so we will simply choose that whether this h node is true or not means the population average is three years or it is not so let us discuss this example so first we write our data that is given to us here population mean is maintained to us that is 3 years and the sigma that is also given to us 0.5 years and further x bar sample mean is given to us that is 2.5 years and sample size is given to us that is 100 now it is noted that this n is more than or equals to 30 now notice that n is here more than or equal to 30 
because 100 is more than 30. So this means that we will deal with the Z distribution in the test static or in this problem. So the first step is writing the null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. So here the null hypothesis will be the average life is 3 years. Now we take against any hypothesis against the null hypothesis. So suppose we take this and we are mean to take in this problem that is not equal to 3 years because it is not specified to choose less than 3 years or more than 3 years so that is why we simply choose our alternative that the mean life of the batteries is not equal to 3 years the next step is significance level alpha so since it is not specified anywhere what significance level should be chosen and on or what the continental uh, we must have so what we do we choose alpha 0.05 and that is a standard value to choose whenever it is not specified now next step is to find the critical value or critical region so we shall write it as reject null hypothesis in the case if the value of z in the next step we shall compute this is less than this value negative 0 alpha by 2 or if it is more than this value the positive 0 alpha by 2 so what are these values these are actually called critical values and these are often using this significance level alpha <coughs> it is not specified so i am writing this so that you can understand to choose this one when it is not given. So now from here, Z H naught if Z is less than this value is minus Z alpha by two. So we use Z distribution here. Why we use Z distribution? That is because our sample is more than 30 or equals to 30. So whenever we have this case, we use Z distribution or standard number distribution. Now this value is the value of Z. This Z alpha by two is the value of Z. that leaves area alpha by 2 to its right so now let us find out this using the z distribution table of stain armor table so now see this z alpha by 2 meaning that we have to find value of z with the area 0 0.025 on the right side and now notice that the left side area will be 1 minus 0 0.025 and that is 0 0.975 and that is the area to the left of this value that will power by 2 so now this means that to find the value of z we have to search the area 0 0.975 in the body of the table so now let us find this value so in the body this is your body of the table and this is the first column containing the value of z for the first decimal place and the second decimal place is shown in the first row these are all the values of z which have the area which is inside the body are left side areas and this can be also shown in this figure and these are the values of strain armor distribution so now our area that we have to find or search in this body that is 0.975 so here we have 0.99 and still we have to find 0.975 so this is 0 0.6 0 0.7 and then 0.78 we have to find 0.975 so this will be 0.975 so here we see this this is your area of 1 point uh, at the row of the value of 0.9 and that is your area 0.975 this 0.9975 area is to the value of z which is 1.9 on the first decimal place and above this on the same column and there will be 0 0.06 so the value of z is that is 1.96 so now we have find your value so this is 1.96 so now we can now write the third step again, rearrange this and the third step now become that reject H naught 
if the value of z is less than this value negative 1.96 or is more than this value positive 1.96 but this is your critical region and if you see the figure or if you want to draw this figure this will be look like this one so here you have the area alpha by 2 that is 0 0.025 and on the right side the same and the value is 1.96 negative and 1 point and this positive so this is your rejection region reject h naught this is again your rejection region reject h naught and this is your acceptance region accept h naught now this region is actually indicated by that less than minus 1.96 and this one is indicated by they had more than 1.96 and the in between them we have the acceptance regions so now let us see the next step next step is to find value of the statistics so in that case the formula is x bar minus mean divided by sigma as it is given to us the standard region is given to us divided by square root of the sample size the square root of n so x bar is 2.5 minus mean is 3.0 in this problem and then standard deviation sigma is 0 0.5 and the whole divided by the square root of n is over 100 so when you simplify we will get minus 10 and since the value of z that is it equals to minus 10 which is less than the value of minus 10 is less than this value minus 1.96 which implies that is the h node is rejected as the value will pass in the rejection region so h node is rejected as this value negative 10 falls in the rejection region which is less than minus 1.96 so now what we do we write our conclusion that with 0 0.05 level of significance alpha or we can also write that with 95 percent confidence The test conclude that the value of test statistic that the average life of medical device is not three years and that is your solution so now let us see our next problem here we have the second problem a manufacturer of the tv tube has for many years used a process giving a mean tube life of 4800 hours so this is your mean population mean and then and a standard deviation again it is also known population instead of that is sigma is known and that is 1450 a new process is tried to see if it will increase the life significantly a sample of 200 new tubes gave a mean life of 5000 so here we have x bar x bar means sample mean that is 5000 hours and the sample size is also given to us that is 200 so now we are asked to is the new process better than the old one at 1% 1 level of significance where we have indicated by 1% means level of significance that is given to us 1% that is 0 0.01 is better than the old one the new process is better than the old one so in this problem we have given the null hypothesis here the mean value that is 48 100 and then the standard deviation of the population that is known that is 1450 and then sample is n that is 200 and also the sample mean is given to us x bar and there is 5000 hours now again note the sample size is 200 that is larger than larger sample size indicating n is more than or equal to 30 
so our first step is state the null and alternate hypothesis so a null hypothesis will be mean and there is 4 a double 0 we take the alternative way that is given that new process is better so this word better indicates the larger value of mean than the population mean so uh, we are taking that mean is more than 4800 that the population mean so this will only improve if the population mean is now so the next sample obtained from new sample is larger than this population mean that is obtained from the old one or old process so this word better indicating the value that is more than the word better means larger so in similar way we have to find out from our problem where problems the statement or words which indicates larger values or similar values or not equals to and keep these values into the alternative hypothesis so now because of this more than we have a test which is one tail test now next step is to write the value of significance alpha that is 1% means 0 0.01 1% given to us now third value is to find rejection region so we will reject H0 if the value of Z distribution that is Z test statistic is less than this value or more than reject H0 if the value of Z is larger than this value of Z alpha so now again take this value of Z alpha here alpha is equals to 0 0.01 which is the area to write of this value there alpha so the left side area 1.01 .01 will be equals to 0 0.9900 this is the area to the right to the left of the value there alpha so we have to search in the body of the table the area 0 0.9900 and then corresponding value of 0 will be our value which will be substituted here for critical region. So in this table of strain armor distribution Z statistics to find the value of Z with the area 0 0.9900 on the left. So we have to search this value of area 0 0.9900 to the in the body of the table and that is so this area 0 0.9900 is not present so in that case we will use the closest area and the closest area to the 0 0.9900 is 0 0.9901 and this is for the value of z that is 2.3 2.3 and on the same row on the same column above it there are 0 0.03 so this is your value of z alpha so hence the value of z is 0.2.33 which has the area 0 0.01 to the right side and 0 0.9900 area to the left side. So now computing the value of this statistic. So here we will use the same formula as we did in the last example. So here the value of x bar that is 5000 minus the value of mean is 4800 and then divided by sigma is 1450 and then divided by square root of n here n is equals to 200 that is sample size so now to simplify you will get 1.95 so here we now write the comment that since the value of the statistics is not far in the rejection region so we do not reject null hypothesis so now what we do we write conclusion in the words that with 99% with confidence or we write 1% level of significance the new method is not better than the old one. So this is your answer.